Hey guys, so today we got a fun little project. I uh, just got this refrigerator right there. Beautiful, pristine, fresh off the line. Okay, it's actually a hand-me-down for my brother. But I just got it, and I was going to plug it into this outlet. Unfortunately, I used my little uh, outlet checker here. It said it had an open ground, so I was like, mm, okay, let's, let's take a look. Pull it out. And the circuit is turned off, so I'm not going to electrocute myself or anything here. And yeah, it turns out there's no grounding wire. So that's phenomenal. Fortunately, I have this nice big length of wire that I actually just ripped out of my garage, which currently does not have any power anyways. And that is a three wire. So we have the hot, the negative, and the ground. So I'm going to try and fit it into that outlet. So let's take a quick run downstairs. This is the lighting, I'm just using a flashlight right now. Um, but right there you can kind of see like that mess of cobwebs and stuff, it's kind of messy. But there's a wire that runs out of the wall, that is the wire. And we follow it along and it kind of goes here, goes into the box, which is a giant mess. Alright, so I've got the wire there disconnected. I disconnected the negative, which is kind of just sticking out there so it's not in the way. And I loosened up the doodad wire clamp. I don't know exactly the technical name is for this. So I can pull this wire out now. To make my life easier, and just because uh, I can't run new wires to the outlet without disconnecting the old wires first anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take those off right now. That just simply held in place with some little screws on the side here that the wire kind of wraps around comes off real easy that's the uh, the grounding spot where there should be a grounding cable generally in green or just bare copper which I uh, didn't have alright so now it's time to feed the new cable and I am using this is like I said I pulled it out of the garage the garage doesn't have power currently it is 12-2 with ground so it's 12 gauge wire there's two strands a positive negative and there is a ground the wire I pulled out was a 12-2, so it's the same gauge wire going in. Just this one has a ground, the previous one didn't. Putting a little bend at the end of this, so it kind of feeds itself down into the wall easier. Hopefully it doesn't catch on anything, which of course it will, because nothing can ever be easy. After a little, uh fooling around with this wire, I realize this is probably not going to work the easy way. So what I'm going to have to do is, and you should be to see it in the video just a little bit, the, there's two screws down here, and there's a metal plate underneath those screws, which is a little lower than this, this wall material stuff they put in. So what I'm going to do is chisel this a little lower, and it should be covered by the face plate once I put that back on, because that covers down, what, quarter inch, almost half an inch, three eighths or so probably. Now I'm only going to take off probably an eighth. So I'm going to chisel this out. Alright, that may do it. This seems to be wiggling a little easier. I just gotta get this one chunk out of here. That's when you completely came out. There we go. Get out of there. Pull it out with my pliers. Aha! We have extraction, almost. What did it catch on now? Are you kidding me? How many things can this possibly get stuck on? Oh, wait a minute. You gotta be kidding me. 
All right, well, it looks like this box has some little, uh, some little kickoffs on the sides with a screw on them. Instead of just being flat. Which means, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Well, what I'll do is I'll mark the positions. Brad pointed drill bit, drill small holes, but make sure they're large enough so it'll actually work. We go about there. Somewhere around there. Around there. And about there. Happy day, oh lucky me. Wait. There it is. There is the wire. I got it through. Now I just gotta get it pulled out. Kind of jostle that in place. Where did I put that box? Here we go. All right, so that comes up through the bottom, just like so. And our friend of the box can go back into the wall. Just like such. Um, I think I lost one of those little screws. Oh, there he is. Which, honestly, I don't even know if these things have anything to stick into anymore. Get the sucker wired back up. I'm gonna need a few tools I don't have on me. Y'old trusty knife. And y'old trusty wire cutters. I've never done this before. Didn't even like Google how to do it. But I watched one guy one time. That's actually a very dangerous way to be cutting that because it'll slice right into my palm. Um, I watched one guy one day one time on YouTube doing this. Well, something very similar to this. He was running some wires in his garage. Um, there's a slight chance you may have heard of him off the ranch. He was doing a video where he did, and in the video he even said, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, okay, he didn't say that. What he said was, I'm not an electrician don't have any kind of training, but I looked this up on YouTube to see how to do it, and figured it out. So, he can figure it out on YouTube, I'm sure I can. And I didn't even watch YouTube, I just watched him do it. And he wasn't even explaining how to do it, he was just doing it while he was talking about how you can find instructions on YouTube on how to do anything, and then you can just do it yourself. Which, um... I should throw a little disclaimer in. As far as electrical work goes, different places have different rules. Uh, same with plumbing and honestly pretty much anything else. Some places, as long as it's your own house, some places don't care. Other places, you have to have a licensed electrician no matter what. So before attempting anything you see in this video or in any other video, you may see on the good old www.com be sure and consult with the uh, the rules in your municipality to make sure that uh, they're kosher with you doing your own work. Two things to point out here. First off, I need to know which way the screw's in. So if that screw's that way, I want the wire to lead from that side. Basically, when you use one of these little screw-on things, what you want to do is wrap the wire around it going the same direction that the screw tightens. So as it tightens it pulls more wire from the line into the screw rather than trying to push the wire out because if it tries to push it out it'll make it very difficult to get it wired up. Alright so we've got our ground hot and cold I unfortunately do not remember which way this was running. Hot, I think, goes to the wider plug? 
Don't quote me on this. I don't know. Just some amateur guy trying to get his refrigerator hooked up with a grounded outlet so we can have cold food at a housewarming party. So literally all I'm trying to do here. On the upside, there's nothing too bad that could happen. I mean, all I'm doing is wiring up an outlet. And the best part of this all is, it doesn't even have any power running to it. So nothing bad can happen. And even if I did put these on the wrong way, so I have the outlet wired backwards, I have an outlet checker that'll tell me that. And then literally all I have to do is disconnect these two wires and reconnect them on the opposite sides. Simplest fix ever. And because I'm going to check that before I even put this back into the box, we will know. And then I won't have to pull anything back apart. So, I am going to feed the wire back down in some of the way. Well, I'm going to try. So I don't want to have too much sitting in this box to putz with. All right, that's probably close enough. All right, let's go downstairs and wire it up to the main circuit. All right, so there we have wire running down. I ran a vacuum cleaner through that one spot and a little bit on the box here just to uh, not have to do with all the spider webs. So I pulled the wire, or pushed the wire up through, so I'll pull it down a little bit there. Hope that feels snug. We're gonna run it back along to the box and then drop it in. So I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and get to work. All right, so I fished the wire over a couple pipes and basically it's gonna come running down through uh, this spot right here and it goes to this breaker right here that's turned off 20 amp breaker. So I figure if I give myself this much line, that'll be more than plenty. And we have darkness, very darkness. I don't know if any of this is even gonna show up in video, but I'm gonna try my best here. So we got the black, black is our positive. I'm gonna go ahead and feed that into the slot there and crank that sucker down. Now technically speaking, I think you're supposed to put the the negative and ground in first probably. But uh, obviously I didn't. Let's see what happens when I switch this power back on. Nothing should other than obviously power coming back on. Because the breaker's still off. So let me step to the other side of the camera so the light from the shelf light on the floor can uh, light up. All right, so let's do it. Okay, I didn't see anything arcing. That's positive. Can we just celebrate in that for a moment? And what does this mean? I have something done wrong. I have hot and neutral reversed, which means I connected the wires on the wrong side. <laughs> hey, what do you know? What do you know? It's correct. I don't know if you can uh, see on camera. All right, it's the right two according to this little graph. If the right two are lit, it is correct. So that's done. I just got to put the box back in place, or the the outlet itself. Put the faceplate back over it. Put this little guy in. Don't want to forget about that. I don't think it'd matter if I did. And then I can plug my refrigerator in. Woohoo! Outlet covers reinstalled. There we go. Outlet's plugged in. Refrigerator's running. I'm sure you can hear it. If I open it up, we've got the light. We got some. Uh, some juice down on the bottom, but because the producer is not going to give me any money, I'm definitely not going to say who it is. But there we go. Didn't take too long. Probably, uh, I don't know, 
two hours maybe 